the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Chicago Bulls against the Philadelphia 76ers. For the 76ers, they won their last contest that game against Orlando. That game a high-scoring affair. We'll see if this one turns into a shootout as well. Closing out the season now, Kenny, a topic that's uh, always under debate. How important is momentum heading into the playoffs? Well, younger teams, it helps their confidence. You know, and veteran teams, sometimes they can just turn it on when it matters. This is what I call basketball math. Some clubs choose health over momentum, but all other things being equal, momentum matters. It's like E equals MC squared. That's what I was I Almost was like, exactly well, like that. Yeah. Right. And the I'll, Pythagorean theory. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A equals C. No, A is greater than C. C is greater than A. That might be true. I didn't think there was going to be math. Here's Kevin Harlan. Good evening and welcome to tonight's presentation of Noche La NBA, an annual tradition in the NBA celebrating diversity and culture and always a pleasure to bring it to you. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Looking at Chicago, they want to turn it around after that loss to the Pacers in Indiana. Well, listen, I I've seen worse performances offensively, but no doubt that group was inconsistent. They would look like they had to figure it out and take a couple bad shots and be right back to where they started. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Well, guys, Ben Simmons grew up playing Australian rules football. It may be one reason he's so comfortable attacking defenses and creating. He said, you have to read the defenders, draw them, then get rid of it. Otherwise, you're going to get tackled. Well, that's a foul in the NBA, but I understand his sentiment, guys. And David, he is not shy about contact at all. Thanks. Some teams see Webb now struggling. Others are surging. It's the mad dash to determine playoff seedings, and it's fun to watch. And for fans of the underdog, this is why we play out the season. Only the strong prevail. Survival <laughs> of the fittest. Everybody wants a chance to try to make sure that their team is the one to win. So, yeah, struggling is common for everyone. How do you handle those struggles, and how do you get through them? And usually it's with teamwork, chemistry, Boys, and nice again, night. some hard work at the end. And the Bull start out with the ball. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Simmons runs the show with Reddick at the two. Jimmy Butler is out there with Harris. And he drops it in from the low post. Simmons against Dunn. Passes it to Lopez. Kicks it to Markinen. Levine looking around. Outside Porter. Just five to shoot. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Rebound by the 76ers. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And I love the fact that they did such a good job of really reacting to what the defense was giving them. Yeah, all about IQ. You're right. They made smart in-game adjustments. I mean, they seemed a step ahead all night. Here's Harris. Really played well against Orlando in his last outing. Here's Redick. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Not just the shooter. Redick can also get inside. Effective at exploiting holes in the defense. Poked loose and stolen by Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. And that's how you make 
a steel count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. But, but, uh, fellas, that's just like it's supposed to work. I, don't give the D a chance to set up. Now here's Simmons. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. And that one's good, Simmons. This is where Simmons likes to shoot from. I mean, the closer he is to the rim, the better. Dunn kicks to Markinen. Harris on the double team. Levine wide open. And again, Chicago, no good. The 76ers have gone 4 of 4 to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Taking this defense to task so far. No misses in their first five attempts. Tobias Harris in his eighth season in the NBA and still just 26 years old. Yeah, I mean, one season at Tennessee, and he has slowly but steadily improved each year. And, you know, he's gotten stronger, more consistent with his long-range shooting, and he's found his calling as one of those prototype small ball fours. One shot. A free throw off from Harris. And think about Kevin, this talented 76ers team. Uh, Coach Brown helped shape and form the core of this roster. I mean, he's come up with the group uh, much as they have grown under him. No flow to their offense at all yet. I mean, just one for five from the floor to start the game. Dunn passes to Lopez. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And with Brown, he has the trust of the players because they have gone through the same trying time. Uh, and, and let's not undervalue uh, what stability has meant for this group. Having a coach like Coach Brown, uh, who has been through the ups and downs uh, with the Sixers, uh, it, it makes players play that much harder for him. That free throw missing. Robin Lopez out of Stanford entering his second decade in the league. Chris, talk about his game. Well, when you think about Robin's game, I mean, aggressive, unselfish. I mean, he's one of those dirty work players you love to have on your team, but, but you hate to compete against. He's off on the second. Lopez. Now, this guy, he's a reliable role player, a stiff defender, and an intelligent shooter as well. Chicago's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And stolen by Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. An agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. You know, you watch Ben Simmons play, and it isn't a surprise, Chris, that he's a threat to go off for a triple-double every time he suits up. Simmons is going to have a lot of triple-doubles in his career. Great size and a knack for the ball when it comes to rebound. chance to check out the numbers for Otto Porter. He's putting up 13 points a game, five rebounds, and two assists. 
And, guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. Well, yeah, lately he's been overachieving a little bit. Hopefully this is a sign of greater things to come. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. Now a chance, guys, to examine the rebounding numbers over the past months for Simmons. In the last few months, the rebounding has, has sort of taken a bit of a dive for him, and, and a lot of factors could be the cause, but it's a trend that Coach would probably like to see him reverse. Now here's Markinen. 14 points from him the last game against Indiana. And not only that, I mean, if you think about it, he dominated the boards. His energy was incredible. He never stopped working. Really having a difficult time getting anything to fall. Starting to surge here, and we're only in the first quarter. And it's happening at both ends, trying to end this thing before it begins. Here's Levine after the Sixers pick up two to the inside. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Levine. Lopez has got his first bucket of the night. Capable of doing many things well. Levine has a good sense of when his guys rope. Got that one up ben quick. Simmons. That's 10 points for Ben Simmons. And usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks. But not now. Here's Dunn. And Dunn with the slam. Using all that momentum to his advantage. Dunn is relentless when he's knifing towards the bucket. Simmons. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Simmons got 12 in the game. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. Oh, the quick hands of Simmons. He's great at realizing when to risk going after steals. And Simmons slams it in. Yeah, pounding it inside once again. They have taken over this game physically. Right off the opening tip, they've been relentless. And this style of play can be hard to come back against. And Chicago has possession. The 76ers getting the bucket. Done with it. Now guarded by Reddick. Levine kicks to Porter. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. He's got five. Oh, you better wrap Porter up on these type of shots. When you don't, he fends off the contact well and finishes in style. Tries to keep it alive. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Here is a list of the NBA's most adept passing teams this season. These are your assist leaders. The 76ers third. And, and you know, when your team has a lot of assists, it's testimony to the unselfishness, the, the patience, the ball movement, the player movement. They have shown all of that. Well, oh, step in the right direction. Marketing must continue to make these kinds of efforts on defense. Goes up the baseline. The offensive rebound. Off with the layup. Philadelphia leading by 13. Here's Simmons. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. They've leaned on him tonight, and he's delivered with some great shooting. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for Chicago. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And let's see some of the numbers here on Lowry Markinen. Just an incredible month of basketball. Fifth in rebounding, and he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And he's so explosive, so hungry. You really can't keep him off the glass when he wants to get there. That's why he's top five in rebounding. And, you know, I call it great defense or a poor offense. Either way, they're limiting their scoring. Well, see, Webb, there were a ton of huge personalities on this 76ers team from the Stars right on down to the rotation players. When it starts with the MB, you know, he's talking junk out there. And think about the quiet swagger that Simmons plays with. This group genuinely get along, and they play for each other. The trials they went through to get here as a core, uh, they should have all the confidence in the world defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks done wide open he fires and again no good by chicago he's still looking to get into a groove this quarter here's simmons he can't get that one to fall and the bulls going the other way now and stolen by simmons Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. 
Well, think back to when Ben Simmons was first drafted as the top pick in 2016. Everyone knew he could be a playmaker as a small forward. But really, he functions fully as a point guard when he's out on the floor. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Blakeney's checked in. And it's Harrison in for Chris Dunn. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That's good from Simmons. And Chris, Simmons a player that almost transcends the traditional basketball position. He's a playmaker, plain and simple. He has the height and vision and skill to line up anywhere. Simmons, he could be viewed as a generational talent when it's all said and done. Chicago calls timeout. Their last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the 76ers. Yeah, and last time out, they sort of shot themselves in the foot with the foul trouble. That was what led to them having such an ugly scoreline. So, oh, yeah, the guys, they need to lead the way. Uh, they spend far too much time on the bench. I mean, they'll be more careful tonight. low here's Harrison no good again that time they've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start you know see Webb JJ Redick has just continued to age well he's a fantastic player now into his 30s well, Redick keeps adding to his game but the shooting never changes he shot well over 40 from deep for his career Redick is a player who doesn't rely on his burst or his first step to score. I mean, he can keep playing like this for a long time. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. That's good from Simmons. Everyone seems to suffer small injuries, C. Webb, over the course of a season. Uh, who does the best, you think, at battling through those minor bumps and bruises and injuries and, and still continues to play well? You know what, Kevin? I can't answer that question because whoever does it does not let us know also that they're hurt. They hide it. Yeah, good point. You're right. Because the main guys that get through it, yeah. they're not, they're not going to tell you. <laughs> good point. <laughs> And boy, when you think about what the Bulls were in the 90s, Jordan, Pippen, Grant, Robin, I mean, a group that could suffocate you on both ends. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. Yeah, you see it now on the scoreboard. Yeah, particularly on offense, where they've been completely in sync. Terrific first quarter. Now, here's Lopez. 20 points for him last game against Indiana. Now, don't forget his rebounding work, too. They couldn't contain him on the glass. And Chris talking about the Bulls dynasty. Some people. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> Look out. That's a below. beautiful jam. Jimmy How Moore. can you not love Simmons? I mean, some of the dunks he pulls off are insane. And a great second look there. Another Unleash Chaos replay. Brought to you by the Under Armour Hover Havoc. Three-pointer on the way. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Philadelphia leading by 22. A three ball buries it from three-point range. Simmons got 33 points. He continues to be their go-to guy. If they close this game out, his stamp will be all over this win. Pass to Harrison. Dishes to Markinen. And Simmons with the rebound. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Shots good by Butler. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And it's Harrison with the ball for the Bulls. Here's Porter. 
and finished off by Porter. Love how Porter snakes his way into the lane. The long strides, the athleticism, an excellent penetrator. Here's Reddick trying to get open as Johnson. And there's Reddick. That's good on the assist by Simmons. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Down low, here's Blakeney. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And Chicago called for the foul. Awesome at cutting inside. The quick feet of Simmons are hard to keep up with on the drive. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Two shots. That's good from Simmons. I mean, you got to love the skill set uh, Simmons possesses. A nightly triple-double threat. Uh, he stuffs the stat sheet. And the Bulls making a change here. Seldon's checked in. Then for the 76ers, Scotty's checked in for Tobias Harris. James Ennis comes in for Jimmy Butler. And Simmons subbed in for J.J. Redick. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And Chris, with the way the 76ers have taken huge steps forward, what should the expectations be for this team the next few years? I wouldn't be surprised, Kev, if they were competing for a title in a few seasons. I mean, they have a very flexible cap to improve their roster, and anything less than that I think should be viewed as a disappointment. Here's Harrison. Markinen, the rebound by Johnson. And now here's Ennis, the fast break opportunity. That's in, coming off the assist from Johnson. Ennis has got his first two points of the night. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Back to Harrison. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Timeout, timeout. And he has a little bit of trickeration with that one. Gets that one to go against the lint. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. Great body control on the lane and takes the contact. Still knocks it in softly off the glass. I mean, that shot just can't be blocked the way he adjusted. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit. Well, we'll see what they run coming out of this. Jay McConnell, he's checked in for Ben Simmons. And checking out the numbers here for McConnell, how's the last month of basketball been for him? He's averaging six points a game, three assists, and two rebounds. And the numbers won't wow you, but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night. He hustles, does the little things, just a good complimentary guy who you need on your team. Scott, good. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Here's Blakeney. Started by Simmons. Johnson with the block. Oh, the rim protection from Johnson. One more thing that makes him special. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. When you were playing on the road, obviously the fans would yell things and, you know, try to get under your skin. See, Webb, you remember any instance when, when it really bothered you and, and, and took effect? Maybe when I would go home and play for the Pistons, I'd see some fan in the green and white, and maybe Steve Smith, my partner, paid him to be there. But, you know, the Michigan State fans, you know, the gold blue or, or that type of thing. Or in Ohio, it's very funny, you know, in Ohio, if they want – 
to boo. If they want to get the crowd pumped up, all they do is put a big Michigan M up there, and the crowd will go crazy and boo. So Ohio, <laughs> usually my people in Ohio State, the Cleveland, they always, you know, had something to say. No, but it was more like, you know, you suck, Ohio State is the best, you know, Michigan <laughs> State, you should have come here, that type of stuff. And yeah. you kind of look back, give a guy a wink, knock her down a jump shot, and put your fingers to your lips and just say, shh, you don't want to get me upset. Let, let sleeping dogs lie. That's great. That's great. Chicago's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Here's Blakeney. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Here's Simmons. The second chance effort. And there's the nice layup by Johnson. Oh, that's all because of the persistence from Johnson battling for the second chance bucket. And Chicago shooting the ball to the tune of 41% from the field so far. The shot by Markinen, nobody around. Nailed from three-point land. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. Well, you know what? I like Johnson's unselfishness, ready and willing to move it to the open man. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter. The pass to Blakeney. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Scott's got his fourth rebound in this one. And it's Simmons penetrating. Yep, that one goes. Simmons got six. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easier. I mean, I don't know whether to say it's amazing or it's sad, but you're down double digits and you still allow an uncontested layup. Where is the pride? Where is your heart? They grab their own miss. Blakeney. Johnson with the defensive effort. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And the 76ers tack on two more. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Right wing. Puts it up from 15. And that's good for two. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Baseline try. That one's not going to go. And that's it for the first quarter in what's been a very lopsided game. Philadelphia ahead, running away with it. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Jimmy Butler, a hard worker on the floor and off the court as well, possesses a unique individuality. I worked extremely hard to get where I am today, so whenever you walk to my house, you see a really big, some may call it obnoxious, uh, boombox aquarium, but I love music. I don't really watch too much TV. It's always music, so it's just another thing to remind me, continue to be who you are, just have fish inside of it. A boombox aquarium, huh? <laughs> Points for originality, Greg. Butler, not shy, breaking from convention, beats to the rhythm of his own drum. Jonathan Simmons. Welcome back to Noche Latina, celebrating the Latin culture and their love for the game of basketball. It just keeps growing. And a comfortable margin here for the 76ers, guys. I mean, a solid first quarter, especially looking at that plus turnover ratio. Yeah, aggressive on D, efficient on offense. They bought out to an early lead. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, we've got T.J. McConnell. Mike's got out there with Ennis. Then it's Johnson, and it's Simmons in at the two. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, Brett Brown coached the Sixers team through some really lean years. Now, the promise started to show last season, but he said, I don't feel close to the notion that we've arrived. I'm hardened, just doing my job and moving forward. Kevin? And continuing the process, D.A., thanks. Here's Archie Diakono. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. And that one's good by Porter. Adept at cashing in from the inside. Porter knows he has the touch and size to score for them. And Simmons slams it in. Look at this. I like this. Team basketball. Keeping the ball moving until they find the right shot. Hey, 
And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. To the inside. Here's Luwawu. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Oh, the fee was perfect. The timing, the placement, everything was right on the money. Here's Johnson. The rebound by Luwawu. Chicago has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. To the paint. And there's the bucket for Markinen. Markinen's got five. And really, Markinen isn't just an outside threat. He's more than capable of capitalizing inside. He gives up a lot of size to most other power fours, but not too many of them can fly like he can. The Bulls have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Archie Diakono kicks to Markinen. Outside Porter. Shot clock at six. From outside the arc. That shot is off. Coming up empty for the second time this game. Four for six. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And Chicago shooting about 42% so far. Well, how about Laurie Markinen out of Finland? I love his game. Look, he comes from a family of athletes. Both his parents played basketball at a high level. I know he got his game from his mom. She told me that. But his older brothers both made the pro ranks. One in soccer, the one in hoops. His family, skilled. Outside Porter. Pass to Markinen. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. They get it back. And that one's good, Archie Diakono. Oh, tough effort right there on the glass. Those second chance points can pay off in a big way. Here's Simmons. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got four rebounds now tonight. And Markinen, from a young age, would spend all day shooting in the backyard. Chris sounds like you. His parents set a rule. No hoops before 7 a.m. or after 10 p.m. <laughs> oh, man, when can you play then? I mean, hey, you want to play 24 hours. But, yeah, it was just like me. And he'd be out there practicing in sub-zero weather. Those Chicago winners shouldn't be a problem for him. Releases from 15, and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. That's one he knows he should have drained. Simmons. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got five assists in the game. Here's Archie Diakono. His last outing, he had eight points. They double him with Simmons. To the middle, here's Luwawu. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Like the vision from Porter. Not just looking for his own shot. Constantly looking to get it to the open man. Scott, good. He played a very solid first quarter. Now he's taking it up a notch here in the second. The Bulls have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter. Right at the 50% mark from the field. Archie Diakono, the pass to Porter. Off target from outside. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. A shot by McConnell, no good. Wasted opportunity. That's a good chance right there for easy two on the open jump. For Sheldon, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. There is one interesting stat for the Chicago Bulls, C. Webb, and they're still the only NBA franchise to win multiple championships and never lose an NBA Finals. Wow, well, that's just an amazing distinction. I mean, a testament to the clutch play of Jordan when they did make the Finals and, and a reminder of how hard it is just to get there. And the first one drops. Both teams deciding to change it up. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The 76ers have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter, well above the 50% mark from the field. And he just punishes the D for falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah, a little disorganized that time, and the result, two points in the loudest way possible. 
Oh, well, well, listen, guys, that was great work making them pay for the laps on defense. Dunn kicks to Lopez. Outside, Levine. Good on the three-point shot. A decent threat from downtown. You got to see Levine nailing this shot more and more. And it's Simmons penetrating. Took him no time at all on that one. Simmons got 37. And look, he's been so dependable in this game, taking nothing but good shots. And another steal for him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Playing to his strengths on the offensive end. Simmons, I mean, an added bonus whenever he catches fire. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. And that game is the second of two straight at home. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. He may have missed it, but that's a clean look at the basket. Selden passes to Lopez. Levine kicks to Lopez. Simmons against Dunn. Inside, here's Lopez. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is good. Oh, well, Lopez is terrific on the offensive glass. I love seeing him use his long arms to haul in the boards. And it's Simmons penetrating. Ben. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Simmons got 41. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Dunn kicks to Lopez. Dunn against Simmons. And Lopez throws it down. What unselfishness from the young guard, uh, Dunn. Uh, he, he's making more of an effort to, to distribute the ball. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Two shots, Jones. Chris Dunn picks one up. Uh, how about the point guard position? A lot like the quarterback. You need a team to put the ball in your hands and trust you to run the show, especially down the stretch. Last season, the Bulls handed Chris Dunn the keys. He seized the opportunity. The 76ers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. That free throw, no good. And Dunn, the fifth pick back in 2016, voted by his fellow draftees as the favorite to win Rookie of the Year. But, Chris, it took until year two in Chicago for him to break through. Oh, yeah. I mean, this game is all about getting better, finding the right situation. He still has to become a little more efficient as a player, cut down on his turnovers, improve his shot-making abilities a little bit. But he's delivering on his potential as a two-way player. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Harrison in the corner from deep. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Harris has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Simmons. Plays it up and banks it in. Simmons got 43 points. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Dunn kicks to Lopez. Passes to Levine. Down low. Here's Dunn. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists tonight. I love the mentality of Dunn. Looking to score as often as he can from the painted area. Their entire offense has revolved around him today, and that's been the perfect game plan. The 76ers have hit four of eight from the free throw line so far. Folks, that's 50%. Not great work there. One shot. And so here is Chicago. That's tipped, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. And checking out the numbers for Lopez. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. Seventh in field goal percentage, and he's also ranked in the top ten in blocks per game. No trespassing when he's in the lane. And back to his phenomenal efficiency from three, top ten in the league. His consistent shooting creates so many openings in the defense. From the arc... 
Dunn's shot's good. Dunn's got five points now this quarter. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Drills the three-pointer. And that's how you answer back. Trading bombs the last two possessions. They're going that one. Pass to Luau. Back to Dunn. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. He's one of the guys having a solid game for them, but as a whole, they've been lacking. Here's Simmons. He got it again. Sensational. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. The Bulls shooting the ball beautifully in the second quarter. They're at 55% from the field. Knocked loose. Nabbing another steal. And, and you got to be careful around him. You know, Greg, he's been coming up with some incredible steals so far. You better stay with Simmons, especially on the break. He's dangerous. He, he leaks out, and, and he's going to cash in. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Now we have a moment to see the best rebounding teams in the league. Fifth on the list, the 76ers. You know, it's not necessarily a glamour stat, but, but make no mistake, their top-notch board work has been a huge timeout, key timeout. to their success. Timeout call, the 76ers. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit. Well, we'll see what they run coming out of this. Making a switch here. Blakeney's checked in. Here's Simmons. The shot from the low post is good. Simmons got 55. Wow, what a sensational quarter from him. And as long as they have this lead, I keep going to him again and again and again and again. And the basket by Blakeney. There isn't any player in the league who's going to pass up that shot. There was nobody near him. The hook. And Simmons with the nice bucket inside. Simmons got 57 points. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Bolden. Harrison with the rebound. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. And they pick up two. And it's six points for Tobias Harris. Oh, you love the use of the mid-range jumper from Harris. Just takes his time and makes sure he's in rhythm before releasing his shot. Harrison kicks to Lopez. The pass to Blakeney. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. And Luau gets it to go. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Here's Simmons. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Chicago. What about the speed and the muscle Simmons has? I mean, it makes defenders nervous, if you ask me. Such a difficult matchup. He's been spending quite a bit of time at the foul line. This is trip number six. Two shots. And that one misses. Otto Porter Jr. He's checked in for Luwawu Cabarro.
He hits the second from the line. And here's Levine who brings it up for Chicago. Pass to Harrison. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got his fourth assist in this one. A three from Simmons. Chicago grabs the miss. 110 left in the first half of the game. Over Harrison. Goes back up. Harris, good. Harris has got eight. But you got to respect how much Harris hustles out there. He earns every rebound he gets. And a wide open look for Porter. And the Bulls, another three. Yeah, they've gotten into a nice flow this quarter. And here's Simmons for three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got four rebounds in this game. Passes to Blakeney. To the middle. Here's Harrison. Up and in on the layup. He's got 11. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. No good from Simmons. Here's Chicago. He swipes the ball away again. And he's just been able to anticipate their every move. Yeah, you're right. An absolute pest on the defensive end. Now this is why you must get Simmons out the paint, because he's fantastic when it comes to dunking it. Lots of room. And the Bulls tack on two more. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. From deep three-point range, tried to tip it in, but couldn't quite get it. He gets it up. That shot off. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? Much different. Um, I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. <laughs> well, it is a unique style, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ben Simmons putting in some incredible work. He went on an historic scoring frenzy, tallying a ridiculous number of points, three rebounds, and also a whopping nine steals. After a subpar performance in their previous contest, he has come on strong tonight. His first half, sensational. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Boy, it was rough down there in the paint, and they were just dominant, taking it to the rack. But that's what you have to be willing to do. Take the action to the heart of the competition without any fear. That's why this is already a blowout. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? Well, they gave up too many good looks. You look at the field goal percentage against them, this tells the whole story. Not enough activity defensively, not enough disruption, Ernie. Like, Kenny disrupts me all the time. Not enough disruption. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What a game we're seeing from Simmons. And through the first two quarters, he was extremely aggressive. Picked up a number of steals. Oh, well, you take some chances. Sometimes you can get burned, but you hope more often than not that you can be a catalyst for your team. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. The 76er shooting has been just uncontainable. 72%. Markinen is the four with Lopez in the middle. Don and Levine are the guard set. 
and it's Porter in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. And here are the Bulls now. Dunn passes to Levine. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Levine's got his second bucket of the night. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Chris Dunn taking fifth overall back in 2016. And didn't break through in his rookie season with the Wolves. He's getting more opportunity here in Chicago. Now Markinen following the miss by Dunn from deep. And the dunk by Lopez. A seven feet tall Lopez makes Duncan look easy. Once he's close to the bucket, forget about it. And here's Simmons for three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. This three-point game hasn't been there for him today, but don't sleep on him. At any moment, he could get his touch back. Here's Levine. And oh, he jams it right over Tobias Harris. Wow! Easy to see why Levine won the dunk contest in 2016. I mean, he has endless ups. And a great second look there. Another Unleash Chaos Replay. Brought to you by the Under Armour Hover Havoc. Having a little bit of trouble at the start of the half. Only one for four from the field. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Houston Rockets. Then on Sunday, they'll be taking on Victor Oladipo and the Indiana Pacers. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. They get it back. Butler finds Harris. Redick is in the corner. But three. And that one is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. To the inside, Lopez. And the dunk by Lopez. Oh, I love that dish down low. The 76ers have gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half started. Can't quite find his three-point touch in the second half yet. He, I mean, he had two in the first half, but still none since the break. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Uh, that, that's just a lack of communication. Two guys just not on the same page. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Lopez outside. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. To the paint. Porter, no luck. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Well, well, one of the things Harris does so well out there is shoot the three ball, which in turn opens up the floor for the rest of his teammates. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. Ooh, this is ugly. No question about it. And you wonder if these matchups aren't favoring them right now. out some stats for Levine. Over the last month, he has been spectacular, putting up 26 points per, five assists, and five rebounds. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. Yeah, anytime this club needs a basket, he's their go-to guy. Just an irrepressible, prolific score. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. 
Oh, man, you better appreciate the unselfishness. When Reddick sees an open teammate, as great of a shooter as he is, he's fast at getting him the ball. Now, here's Lopez. He's got 10. Down low. And there's Dunn on the assist by Levine. Dunn's got 11. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. The Bulls have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Bolden buries it down low. And it's not difficult to see the potential that Harris has. I mean, he's a guy that can do just about everything out there on the floor. Here's Dunn. Kick out to Levine. Pass to Markinen. Inside. Dunn shots good. Dunn's got four points this quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Again, what an avalanche! Robin. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. For Philadelphia, they have missed out on some chances at the line today, going 6 of 11. Wayne Seldon's checked in for Chicago. Johnson, he's checked in for the 76ers. James Ennis comes in One for shot. Jimmy Butler. On the free throw, no good. And Robin Lopez, one of those dirty work type of big men, rebounding, defending, a lot of grit, setting screens. He does it all. Yeah, unselfish. He, he does know his role. It, it just makes things easier for his teammates. Has his quirks, but has proven to be a great teammate. For Philadelphia, they have not set the world on fire at the free throw line. They're just 6 of 12. Two shots. That's good from Simmons. Bulls making a switch here. Archie Diakonos checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Simmons checked in for J.J. Redick. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. The Bulls have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Selden kicks to Archie Diakono. That three off the mark. 76ers have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. And Simmons slams it in. Oh, like whenever Simmons finishes with power off the drive, he'll make a post. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. That's his second first foul. He's a three off the inbound, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Johnson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Again, what an avalanche! 71 points and no end in sight. Young fella is in the zone. The defense right now looks helpless. The shot by Archie Diakono, no good. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 14-4 run. No good from Simmons. Chicago's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Here's Archie Diakono. He's usually able to provide some lift to his team, averaging six points a game. Lopez, left side. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Lopez has got 12 in the game. Well, there's only so much the D can do defensively. Lopez is extremely talented down in the paint. Here's Archie Diakono. Outed by Simmons. Outside, Levine. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Harris. 
Zach Levine, a high riser. The two-time dunk contest champ making his return from that ACL surgery. He can be an explosive scorer. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And from everything you hear, Levine is a big-time gym rat, Greg. Yeah, you know, I think he's very dedicated to reaching his full potential. And with his shooting and athleticism, I think he's a great fit in today's game in terms of offense. Scotty's checked in for the 76ers. T.J. McConnell comes in for Ben Simmons. He hits both from the stripe. I mean, and when you think of Levine, I mean, his dunking ability comes to mind. I mean, he's proven uh, to be an elite poster maker. Good work there as it goes. He's got 16. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Great game for him, double-double now. 11 points and 10 assists. A three from Simmons. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got nine rebounds now tonight. For Chicago, they've gone eight of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. The 76 is shooting 44% on their field goal attempts in quarter three. Here's Ennis. The three-pointer no good. Chicago has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Kicks it out to Markinen. Off target from three-point range. Simmons with it. Now defended by Levine. Let's it fly. Rebound by the Bulls. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Selden passes to Levine. Basket counts. Levine's got 13. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Here's Ennis. It's good from long range. That's a good way to boost his three-point percentage, take advantage of some soft defense. Well, the Bulls shooting 47% since getting things started in the third quarter. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. Wow. Wasted possession. Thanks to what should have been a simple pass. Philadelphia shooting an impressive 65% having their way with this defense. Seven foot shot. It's good. Jeez. Ennis has got five points in the quarter. And so Levine will bring it up now for Chicago. Now the pass to Blakeney. And it's off from three point range. Here's Johnson. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. And let's bring up a list of some of the NBA's hottest players. Among shooting guards, these are the leading scores over the course of the last month. The fourth spot held by Zach Levine. And night after night, we see this group punish opposing defenses. I mean, if you pick one way to deal with them, they'll beat you another way. As a two-guard, that's what puts up the points these guys do. I mean, you have to have a versatile game. To be able to keep the defenders off balance. James Ennis taking two shots. First one falls for him. He doesn't get the second one. And Chicago shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Let's it go with a three. And the basket by Blakeney. Blakeney's got 14 points. Philadelphia dictating the flow. And here's Simmons for three. Good. And McConnell gets the assists. McConnell's got six assists now in the game. 
Chicago has gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Levine kicks to Markinen, poked loose. Back to Levine. And the basket is good. Levine's got 12 points in just the second half. Oh, looking calm and composed in the paint. Levine is superb at capitalizing from these spots. Harrison passes to Lopez. And Lopez throws it down. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Fellas, that's just like it's supposed to work. Don't give the D a chance to set up. Luwawu is checked in for Levine. One shot. That's good from Lopez. Timeout, timeout called timeout. the 76ers. Now pause to take a look at the scoring breakdown between the front and back court of tonight's contests for the 76ers. And it's really been a big night for that back court. They've given their guards as much freedom as they want, and over and over again, those guys have come through. Here's McConnell. They get it again. Johnson and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Johnson's got his second basket of the night. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Look, Lopez is on a roll. He's a high percentage shooter who really concentrates on taking high quality shots. And then Johnson with the dunk. Such incredible hops for a center. Look, it allows him to hold his own against any other five in the league. Chicago's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Knocks it loose and taken away by Johnson. The finish. Here's Simmons. Yep, that one goes in there. Simmons got seven points here in this quarter. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. Markin in with it. He has five. Scott kicks to Ennis. And the 76ers tack on two more. James Ennis. And Chicago has possession. We've got 148 left to play in the third. Here's Luwawu. Offline with his three. Philadelphia dictating the flow. Baseline jumper. And there's Ennis on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got his sixth assist on the night. And it's Harrison with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And Luwawu gets it to go. And it's important that Markinen develops his floor awareness. I mean, passes like there go a long way. Shoots from eight. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Simmons got 23 points. And everything they're attempting is going in. Tremendous run here in the third. Well, I don't know what they talked about at halftime, but they found a weakness in the defense. Nice touch there near the hoop. 54 seconds left in the third. Chalk up two there. Boy, has he put his foot 
on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's Blakeney. 16 points for him. Pass to Harrison. Here's Blakeney. He's covered by McConnell. Blakeney misses. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Simmons, and again, it's Philadelphia. He's giving them a nice lift this quarter. The shots are falling for him. And to the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting 54% since they had a chance to talk things over at halftime. They're looking uh, locked in out there now. The Bulls have gone 5 of 8 from the charity stripe here tonight. Antonio Blakeney. At the line for the Bulls, two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. The first free throw is good. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. So for the Bulls, Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Lopez, and it's done in for Luwabu. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Oh, you're up by double digits. They're trying to keep the momentum, keep the foot on the neck. That's his focus right now. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Dunn. Well, the defense had nothing to do with that turnover. They're just fortunate. That's just plain sloppy passing. Now, here's McConnell. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And that one is good. Six points for Jimmy Butler. Butler's just so skilled at finding ways to score inside. He utilizes his height and strength well and varies that release point. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers able to put on a show for the ages. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Makes it a tough play to defend because you also have to guard against him taking it himself. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That'll be his second foul of the game. Some call it the Ewing theory. Teams that play better without relying on a star player. Chris, how sustainable is that? It's not sustainable. It's real cute until you have the teams that are focused and want to win come in. And usually that your Ewing theory, that's usually like in the fifth week of the season or before right. uh, All-Star break when teams are figuring out themselves. Once everybody has identified their strength and their weaknesses, you need that horse to ride. You need that big hoss in there, that guy that's dependable every night. And uh, as long as he's a willing passer, unselfish player, no, you need those guys. I don't believe that teams are better without their main guy. Maybe for short stretches, players can rally. But you look at championship winners. I'm, I'm trying to think of one that didn't have a superstar on their roster. Uh, I, I just don't buy into that theory. Taking a look at the 76ers, that one is off. And the second free throw, good. Here's Harrison. On the wing, Porter. 
off target with his three. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Butler, no good. And for the Bulls, they're shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. Off the left rim and out. Yeah, that's just poor decision making. He's got to be better in those situations. Well, I'd love to hear his explanation to coach right there. I mean, that should be an interesting conversation. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And finished off by Porter. And how about the vertical of Porter? He gets off the ground with such ease to dunk. From deep. Another miss by Philadelphia. The Bulls have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Passes to Harrison. Now Porter. Over to the left wing. Alkins. And the wing jumper offline. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Three-pointer. Butler. Good on the triple. And Butler, a, a real pro. Just at realizing when to pull up against the D. Amazing concentration there on the wing. Alkins. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. It's all in by the Bulls. Porter's got six rebounds here tonight. Harrison in the corner. Pass to Blakeney. Goes back up. Here's Felicio. To the middle. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Blakeney's got nine points here in the second half. Bolden knocked away. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Chicago making a switch here. At the line for the Bulls. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. And the free throw, no good. Philadelphia's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Archie Diacono, the pass to Felicio. Nice D from Scott. Even that close to the bucket, that's a very tough finish in that kind of traffic. Here's Selden. And the Bulls with another miss. Baseline try. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Well, Chicago has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Took him no time at all on that one. And you can see that Butler is the total package. Solid at recognizing when one of his guys is open. To the paint. A solo fast break. Here's Milton, rips down the breakaway slam. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Yeah, talent in this league has it so that now pretty much every team can push the pace. You have to get back on defense. Here's Archie Diacono. They're running. Finished off the break. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Bulls have gone 5 of 12 from the field, entering the fourth quarter. Outside, Porter. Here's Selden. And it's off from three-point range. From the baseline. And the 76ers tack on two more. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Archie Diacono. The pass to Selden. Shot to stop the run. No good on that one. 76ers have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. 
wide open. Felicio with a rebound. The Bulls shooting a pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. Their offense not doing their best work of late. Blakeney. The shot comes out. Some solid defense from Butler. Philadelphia's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And stolen by Butler all alone. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Now you don't want to forget about the athleticism of Butler. Just a sick slammer of the basketball. You can't allow him to get to that launching pad. Butler with the steal. Here's Milton. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assist. Here's Archie Diakono. Puts up a three, and that one's good, Selden. Yeah, and they are living and dying from beyond the arc since halftime. It's a different look than what we saw in the first half. And count it, the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Luwawu is checked in for Chicago. And the 76ers also making a change. Johnson's checked in. And that one misses. And Jimmy Butler, you know, something of a quirky character. Has a ritual whenever he's at a grocery store of paying the person's bill behind it. Doesn't care if it's 99 cents or 2,000. And, and hate to make a mistake there. Have to stay focused. You're so right. Trying to shrink the deficit. Sometimes you push too hard to make something happen. Simmons checked in for Philadelphia. And the 76ers call time here. got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Ben Simmons. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. And he banks in the layup. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Well, Chicago's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Pass to Luwawu. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And a chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Chicago Bulls. They'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. And then on Sunday, they'll start out on the road and play the Lakers in Los Angeles. And that game against the Clippers, you know they're going to be amped up for that one. And they'll need to be. Oh, That's break. going to be take one tough game Two for that group. And he makes the first. Oh. 
so he gets them both. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 20 to seven run. Bolden, the basket good off the assist from Simmons. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 10 assists. And Chicago shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Bolden, the big dunk at the end of the break. And guys, got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. Yeah, guys, and the finish is the perfect capper. I mean, taking it all the way to the 10. Archie Diacono kicks to Luwawu Cabarro. Passes it to Archie Diacono. Left side, Porter. And finished off by Porter. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. And that's a play they'll run over and over, fellas, as long as it keeps working. Archie Diacono, the pass to Selden. Here's Archie Diacono. Guarded by Simmons. Here's Selden. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Oh, and a pretty good passer for a big man. Johnson does so many things well to help his team. Chicago's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. To the paint, here's Selden. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Selden's got seven points for the quarter. Oh, terrific pass work. That shot's a lot easier after an assist like that. And the shot is good from Johnson. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And for the Bulls, they're shooting about 47% here in the fourth. Archie Diacono kicks to Porter. Here's Felicio and a strong finish with two hands. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a Greg for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. <laughs> Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure where this guy was in the first half. Archie Diacono, the pass to Felicio. Lays it up off the glass. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. The baseline J. And the 76ers tack on two more. Well, he's shown great patience tonight. I mean, he went through a scoreless first half, but didn't get down on himself. I mean, now he's got it going. To the wing right side, Luawu. And the Bulls, another three. One item that stood out, their ball move. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Pass to Selden. Let's it go from 11, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Shot from the wing. It's Butler that time on the assist by Simmons. And that's 19 points for Jimmy Butler. And this is Butler's bread and butter. The mid-range J is on point. Got to DM up better than that. Gets the three-pointer to fall. The 76ers shooting nearly 70% from the floor. They are putting on a clinic offensively. Wasted no time on that one. Here's Archie Diacono. There's the pass to Selden. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Luwawu, and he banks in the layup. Luwawu's got nine points now in just the second half. No issues on that one. Good work all around. And the 76ers tack on two more. And, and that kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. Chicago has gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Here's Porter, and finished off by Porter. Porter is a versatile scorer. Whether he's driving, spotting up, or creating for himself, he can do anything. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And every move he makes looks like the right one at this point. Well, he's extremely accurate here coming down the stretch trying to see if he can close this one out. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. From Jonathan Simmons. The Bulls shooting in the fourth has been tremendous, 
Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Philadelphia. What an effort in the transition game we've seen tonight from these guys. Really pushed the ball and I, I think in, in doing so created a lot of pressure on the defense. I definitely had a huge edge and this is their DNA. When they run the ball and dictate the flow of the offense like we've seen here, these are the kinds of games they can have. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Ben Simmons. He had those defenders shaking their heads. There were times when they thought they had a handle on him. And then just like that, he'd go off on another tear. Porter in the corner. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Boy, this final period, they are putting up a ton of shots from deep. Stacks on stacks on stacks. They're looking to stack up some points. They've gotten into a nice groove from out there. Here's Selden. No good from outside. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. And that one drops for him. Tremendous effort here on the road. That plane ride home is going to be sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't care how good you are. It's tough to succeed in a hostile environment. They're doing it in style. That was all about the assist. Great pass to set up the shot. And so the timeout by Brett Brown here. Well, guys, what do you think? You know, this is a timeout maybe just so they can pat each other on the back because no other reason to call it. No, we're not going to take any chances. I mean, they're going to play it out until the final whistle, no matter what the score is. And Philadelphia has possession. Bolden, good. And McConnell gets the assists. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? At this point, it's just icing on the cake. Terrific run, closes it out. Porter, no luck. Bolden. It counts. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. Yeah, I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy, how confident are you that you guys can build on this win and keep the momentum going? Very confident. Uh, like I said, we got a great group of guys. Uh, if we play together, play hard, um, we can win. I know you'll like to keep that going as we go on in the season. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. See you next time. <laughs>